Hello and welcome back to Sui Coden 1. I'm Josh and it's been a while guys. Uh, it's been a while since we have hung out. I think the last let's play of this was a couple months ago. Uh, maybe I took the summer off and hung out, but Tiger Castle's getting stuff rolling again and we just started Boss Battle, which is a brand new show every Thursday so it would be awesome if you check that out but at the same time we are gonna continue to do Sui Coden because I love this game I think this game is awesome so yeah we're gonna keep doing it uh, I was just checking my stuff literally have not played this game since we last played it so yeah um, but we were talking the last time that happened, we talked to Matthew and he told us to go check out Torin Castle, which is in the lake by Kaku. And Kaku is just southwest of that town we were in that Matthew lives in. So we're on our way and we have to get rid of these killer rabbits because rabbits with axes are terrifying. Obviously, um, when I I literally just spent the last twenty minutes recording this whole thing, and then or longer actually, and something happened with the audio, and it went away. So we're doing it again, but that's okay, cause hopefully that means I'm more rehearsed. Um, but this is Kaku, so just southeast of where we were. I just wanted to check and see this lady can't do anything with our weapons. She, her max level is level five. So level five is the highest we can do with her. So we are at max level for our weapons right now. And there's nothing in that chest, by the way, or that drawer. I just wanted to check. And we're just gonna walk around this village a little bit, say hey. No, everyone is kind of like, what do you want with Torin Castle? Uh, that's not, it's not a cool area. Hopefully it's super loud, cause I'm playing with my headphones. But um, Kaku has guard robes, which are a little expensive. Everything in this part of the game is, I mean, just having six people in general just makes this game a really expensive, like, economy the in-game everything in this game is so expensive so based on the fact that you have to usually buy it times six i mean it kind of depends on like what people are some people cannot have shields some people can't some people can whatever but like i mean just six people's weapons going up to level 15 i think it is i mean that's hundreds of thousands of uh of of monies so like it's just uh, so much so you know, right now, especially in the beginning of the game, we are struggling for some cash, but that's okay. We'll figure it out. Um, oh, this cat, this cat. I swear, I don't know if it was Sui Coden 1 or Sui Coden 2, but you, somebody wants a cat, we're trying to catch a cat. I don't remember, I swear that's a thing. It is, and then, what's up Meg? She, uh, she heard about us, so people, people been talking. But she's looking for like, I think his uncle, Jupo. So we can get him later and then she'll join us. So, you know, they'll do that. Um, how was everybody's weekend? Uh, it was, it's gonna be like Thursday when I post this, but uh, it was like football opener and I got my butt kicked in fantasy. I don't know if anyone else actually plays fantasy football, but I did and I got my butt kicked, so. This week, I plan on not getting my butt kicked, so send out some well wishes for me, because I would appreciate that. This guy, Sergey, his job is literally to make a elevator, an elevator in our in our uh, the castle. It's awesome. I mean, why would there be elevators back then? There's like no other technological advancement, really, but this guy's like, oh, I, I can make elevators, so, you know, that's cool, right? Which, uh, yeah, it is, by the way. And then that is Camille. So she... Victor's like, what? Grimio? Is this your friend? No, I have no idea. Uh, but she's trying to collect... 
She's trying to collect money from Grimio because he apparently owed money on like the inn or something. I think it was when they like, ran away. And so he's like, I don't know what you're talking about. And he's like, oh, the bill for the banquet, Master Tio, yeah, about that. See, back then I, uh, I was a servant for a rich kingdom people, and now we don't have any money, so I don't know what you want me to do. Uh, well, we'll figure it out, you know, but we're like, hey, we don't got any money. You come with us, we'll figure it out. I mean, we're like gonna be a leader of an army so I think we can I think we can work something out but she's like yeah okay but I'm gonna come with you <laughs> no we have no money see like I was saying I love Victor because he's just like no we don't have that I don't No, it's not it's not happening sorry you out of line as soon as we get some money we'll pay you back it's like the just like a IOU back in the day like yeah no uh it's cool uh when we get money we'll pay back and she's not taking this at all she's like all right I'm coming with you sticking with you all the way so there we go we got Camilla so that's funny we're like okay hey, whatever and she's like oh yeah he's downstairs <laughs> well tell us where Tejo is ah he's downstairs there's nothing nothing says like fine upstanding citizen than the guy who like frequents the bar or whatever in the town so much that he's got his own room downstairs and then there's it's sweet code and so it's a uh, an old game so it's just one room hovering in blackness so but so this is Taiho on the left and Yamku on the right and Yamku's like uh, I feel like he's like Taiho's like surfer brother he's like yo dude I don't care it's whatever Whatever Taiho wants to do, it's cool. Like, surfer slash hip, hippie. I don't know. I don't know. But he's like, hey, beat me in this beat me in this dice game, and I'll take you to that castle. Sure, whatever. Because Taiho really doesn't care either. He just kind of does whatever, but he just like... I think he just likes messing with people. All right, so... He got a three. Like, you get two of one number, then the other number is what your score is, if you guys don't know how to play this. And then if you do this awesome thing... Where you get triple threes, that means you lose triple the amount of money that you bet. Which was actually more money than I had, which was super awesome. And Taiho won't. <laughs> Don't be disappointed, just be lucky. Like, uh, he'll be happy to take my money again. Taiho won't take you to the castle on his boat until he wins. Like, he doesn't even, he doesn't care until you win. So he like, he just won money from you. And he's like, nah, you gotta beat me. You gotta, I gotta, you gotta, I gotta pay you. So I'm out here trying to get more money. I cut it off a little bit because I'm just fighting like a ton of battles. So I fought this bird. Yo, yo. But while I did this, I, uh, I picked up a Pharaoh crystal, which is, uh, it makes any character of the opposite sex protect the user from attacks. So if Victor had the feral crystal on right now and the bird attacked him then like Cleo would protect him and I don't think it's like 100% of the time it's probably just just like some of the time so it's probably like 50% or something like that but like probably also when they're hurt more so it's kind of like a critical thing it'll save your life you know like oh he's got one HP and then the bat the bad guy hits him so maybe be useful I don't know I didn't and I'm not really into it as much like I don't need I don't need protection from any like like if you need protection you're in the back and you're probably not getting hit that much anyway so you don't need a feral crystal too but some people like play super defense so those are pretty good crystals for like that um, I picked up one more but I finally got some money so I came back in to fight him well to bet him I guess I'm not fighting him because he is on my team eventually but. So, we do, oh, uh, sorry guys, I hit the mic stand, but I will, I'll get rid of that. <laughs> uh, 
But so, okay, so I, I was explaining the rules because I forgot four, five, six means that like I, you win double money and then one, two, three means you lose double money. I was already mad that I had lost triple. So I wanted, I was like, what are the rules? Remind the rules to me. Uh, but I suck at gambling. I do not uh, frequent the gambling places, uh, casinos as they call them. But Taiho got a four, so I gotta be a four, which I think I can do. Yep. Uh, four, five, six, so then I win double. So I like it, so he goes, oh, it's a four, five, six, so you pay double, which the you that Taiho is referring to is himself. Whatever. Um, well, it's my lucky day. We have strong, hey, Yemku, let's prepare the boat. Oh yeah. He's just like, whatever. I like this is here we go again. And so now I'm like really curious and like, what do they do? Because they're both in uh, Suicune 2 and they just kind of go along with it as well. And so I'm like, ah, what's a different, that's another one. I want another like misadventure of Taiho and Yamku. Hey Konami, spin off, spin off, just Taiho and Yamku. Um, but I have Camilla right now and she, or Camille, I keep calling her Camilla. Um, Camille, sorry guys. But she needs some accessories and I wanna get uh, that guard robe for some people. So, and then also she doesn't have a weapon. Uh, look, she's got that, that bandana and a tunic. Which is not exactly choice armor for going into a dungeon full of monsters, or a, especially a dungeon full of monsters in the in the middle of an, a lake. I wouldn't I wouldn't do that. That would not be my ideal. But she does not have level five weapons, so I'm gonna level that up for her because I'm a good guy. I'm a good guy. She can have the same amount just because she's new. And I owe her money doesn't mean I can't sharpen her weapon for her. So. I don't know what I'm... I'm just looking. He's got a karate uniform and, and Victor's got brass armor. Everyone else... Everyone else could... Would be happier to have a... Uh, like the guard robe. But... I don't know. So... I literally am like, what am I doing right now? But I'm trying to equip uh i'm going to equip victor with a guard robe because i was like i like victor and he's in the front so he should have as much defense as possible but then i sell the brass armor and i'm like why did i not just put that on like camille and then i could have saved some time because i mean really like the brass armor is like not as good as the guard robe but it's not that much worse and i mean Sui Koden as a whole isn't like the hardest game in the world, so it's just kind of like you bring medicines, you'll be fine. Um, but anyway, I'm gonna probably cut a little bit more of this out, but I'm gonna do like some more fights because I want to raise some money and equip uh, equip Camille and my group up with a little bit better armor, just cause it's like the first it's like the first real dungeon in the game, I would say. With, so, I mean. He did uh, Tiger Mountain, I suppose. So that was one, but I don't know. Maybe it's because it's inside a castle. It feels more dangerous. Uh, it was a clone rune. I love the clone rune. It unbalances you after you use it for one turn, but like if you have a strong character like Victor, he does like that. Um, so yeah, I, I, I skipped ahead, but I fought like 15, 20 battles, maybe. Um, got not that much money obviously you don't get that much money in the beginning of the game, so it's so much harder to do all this stuff because everything costs so much but then you get like no money uh and so i gave camille some some accessories and a guard robe and getting her ready to go because she can't be wearing that tunic she just can't it's terrible i feel bad for her um one other thing that i got when i was running around though is i got the holy rune 
Uh, and the holy rune allows characters to run faster through towns. So it legitimately lets you run on the map, not on the world map, just on like in towns and stuff and in dungeons. But it's, I mean, it's like silly because it's like you're wasting a rune spot on one of your six characters so you can just run. But like, as far as like raising the standard of living, it's just better. It's just so much better. So. I got it. I didn't equip it yet, but I'll probably have it equipped by next up. So I'll probably swing back and do that. And we're off. We said, hey, guys, take us to this castle. So we're all equipped-ish. I think we're ready to go, except I forgot that holy rune. But I'll probably equip it because, let's be honest, I don't want to, like, I don't want to crawl through all these dungeons and whatnot. And there's one character later in the game who's got it, but we don't have him yet. So... And I found one, so I'll keep it to somebody. But it's Castle of Torin. And Cleo thinks it's haunted. Maybe it is. There's a treasure here? <laughs> Victor said there was. Victor just says like whatever. He's like, uh yeah, we'll be cool. Everything's great. But so Taiho is like, cool, let's go. So Taiho joins us, so he's coming with, which is cool. So I'm going to end the episode here. I'll probably go back to town actually in between and fix up Taiho and get him ready to go. I'll meet you guys back at Torin next time. Um, let me know guys, like if you kind of prefer any characters that you want me to pick up or anything like that, like kind of what direction we want this to go, this like this LP to go in. Uh, I look forward to hearing from you. So yeah, we'll see you next time. See you guys later.